I'm Professor Mark Skilton from Warwick Business School. I have two roles there. I'm a Professor of Practice in Information Systems Management. I'm part of the group that does uh, research into digital strategy, looking at social media, big data, internet of things, and combinations of those we call combinational computing. But I'm also the industry director of the AI Innovation Network, which uh, Warwick Business School has launched recently. Part of what we're trying to do with uh, the research work we're doing at Warwick is to produce impact into industry as well as develop high quality leading edge academic research. Our two goals with Fetch really are to look at how the concept of Fetch, which is the distributed agent technology, is being used in the business sense. So how are we developing business models on top of the, the technology, which is excellent technology. We're interested in creating impact studies and ways in which learning curators of how can they put business context and make, make value from this. And then, as I said, the other part of what we want to do is because of the, the pedigree of Fetch with their background, it's very much um, creating brand new academic research and papers, we believe, which is describing this distributed economic model that they've, they've been talking about. So we see this as an opportunity that combines all those together. How do we understand where we've got to today in 2018 is a very interesting journey. The way I describe it is really three stages of the era. The first era is really after the internet and web 1.0 we saw the rise of service-based architectures which is where you start to create services with websites and things like this. Then in the 2000s we saw the web 2.0 phenomena with the social media explosion and then the mobile computing. Where we're going into now is really the third kind of uh, transformation, if you will, is agents, which is not only just services and sort of social networking and massive explosion of sensors and connectivity, it's then the intelligence that's being added to those networks through the use of agents to enable new forms of business models, which is really what Fetch is sort of driving. And so the era we're now into is what we call agent technology. So obviously everybody's heard about smart assistants, you know, Siri, Apple, Google, Amazon, so on and so forth. Um, we also hear about neural nets a lot in terms of looking at, say, cancer cell recognition or speech translation in dynamic time or, or self-driving cars. All of that is really the way you can think about it are just agents that have agency in the real world who are able to do sort of superhuman calculations. This is becoming the norm of how we think about business and transactions and processes going forward. The question on our minds and really is obviously from an investor point of view as well as from an um, early adopter or existing incumbent is what is the potential of this new technology because there is many many sort of emerging examples of types of agents for example there's not just one flavor there are many flavors the potential i would probably put into three buckets very quickly one is the ability to do self assisted automated learning so as a human if you're augmenting your knowledge or skills you can use these agents to augment you and they will assist you behind the scenes or you can talk to it and give you information so the first thing you'll start to see is augmented tasks with agents. And you're starting to see this now as phones and agents start to get a bit more smarter and it's happening year by year in releases. The second one is really around connected agents behind the scenes. We're already seeing this with stock market trading, with advanced ways of optimizing networks for supply chain planning to um, transport networks and supply chain optimization. We're going to start to see agents sort of becoming the norm for ways of speeding up, not just reducing the cost of those operations but in terms of intelligence steps of automation you we'll see that then the third area really is around this kind of supply and demand and smart cities and the whole balancing of the bigger problems of say climate change or the use of energy agents will start shaping the way the market is going to work in the future so instead of saying well we've got to invest in infrastructure we've got to get businesses to work smarter train more people and this is the debate that's going on in the European Commission, in, in the Houses of Parliament, is that we're now starting to see robotic processes and agents starting to eat into that human workload. You're starting to see new ways in which markets are going to work with or without humans. And so that's a, raising lots of very large, big questions. But I look at it positively in the sense that it gives us the ability to create more productivity. The question is then how do you spread that income around in a, in a fair way? But Pandora's box is open, agents are out there and it's the opportunity for your business to try and drive the value that it can create for you.
So our interest in working with Fetch was, I mean, we work with a number of organisations and we select them for the type of specific skills and markets they're looking for. We're very selective on that because we're trying to do cutting edge research. Fetch is a very sort of technological company from the material that you'll see, their kind of insights and their intellectual property, if you will, is extremely cutting edge, not in the bleeding edge, but in terms of it's leading the way in which we see uh, evolution of economic uh, distributed markets. They're very much at the forefront of that.